welcome to you today. Today we are on our way to the River Derwent and it is the first time that we've ever been to the River Derwent on an Adam's fishing adventure. I mean I've fished this river quite a lot of times you know what I mean a few years ago sort of thing we used to go here in matches quite a lot but not so much in the recent years because it is quite a mission to get there sort of thing. But yeah we're literally we've just jumped on the A64 and we're literally on our way to the River Derwent right now we're going to a place called Kirkham Abbey which is literally prolific for shub and roach alike. Absolutely beautiful place. And we literally have not been there in years, absolute years. But yeah, great place to go. It is a quite a cold day again today, obviously it is the depths of winter. We're still into January, you know what I mean? But springing far away guys, and I'm literally clinging on to that thought. Yeah, we're literally 10 miles away from where we're going today. Hopefully gonna catch some fish because we blanked last week and that is not what we want. So yeah guys, if you're new around here, my name's Adam. We go fishing all the time. We upload every three days. So why not go down below, hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit that little notification button and you'll know every time we upload an episode. Beautiful stuff. Let's get down there guys and catch some fish. Let's go. Get out, buddy. No. You've been here long? Yeah. No way, yeah. Nightmare, that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Can't go wrong. No way. No, I, I fished ooze a lot, but I haven't been down here for years. Absolute years. I thought I'd come and give it a whirl today. Yeah, yeah. Are you fish below it with you lately? Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, well. I'll give it a go anyway. You never know. Yeah, might as well. At least it's not freezing today. Went last Sunday, man. I couldn't feel my toes by the end of the day. Nightmare. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Right then guys, we're down here now. This is an absolutely beautiful place. This has got the abbey in the background over there. You can see that. Absolutely beautiful place, man. So we have not been down here for literally, must have been five years or something like that. Uh, we're fishing above the weir today. There's a weir just down there. You can kind of probably hear it maybe. Um, there's a lot of river going by the way, you know what I mean, that we could have fished, but we're gonna stay up here today. This is a slight bit deeper, you know what I mean? Cold the time of year, fish might linger about around here. There is a guy fishing just behind me over there. We've just been in talk to him. Uh, he hadn't caught any fish yet. He's been here since about nine o'clock. We're about an hour behind him. So yeah, let's um, get set up and see what we're doing. Alright then guys, so we're all set up down here now. It's about half an hour or so. But yeah, rain started in that time. Absolute nightmare, so we got the brolly out, but that was just to shield all the gear. We're gonna be stood out there, loving life. Well, hey. Hopefully this isn't setting for the day. Cause that'll be a bit of a nightmare. So yeah, we've got the bowler one here. 14 foot rod, it is quite deep here. It's literally 14 and a half feet deep, man. Mental, that. Yeah, it's uh, quite narrow as well. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we've got the bowler on there. Three gram bowler, three gram olive. We've got a one pound seven hook length on there with a size 18 red maggot hook. And we're away, man. We've got a load of mashed up bread today. Loads of hemp, loads of casters, loads of maggots. Beautiful stuff. Same, we're just going to send it straight down there. That was my lens. There you go. Yeah, we're just sending it straight down here. See, the weir's just down there. 
we're probably going to fish below the weir at some point. I'm literally going to live up here for a while now before end of season. It's quite a way, out, quite far away, but it is picturesque around here. On a sunny day, this place is absolutely beautiful. We're in like a valley right now, and uh, so it just keeps most of that weather off you. It's wind and things like that. You know what I mean? What's that? Bottom fish, fish, bottom, bottom. That was my first cast. Right into summer on bottom. We've got a little white maggot on there just to start with. We've got some white bread that we're going to be using for punch. Bread punch in a bit. So we're just going to try and get this swim going first. Tossing bits of hemp in here and there. Bit of... Couple of mashed up... Couple of balls of mashed up bread. Ding dang do. So yeah, hopefully we catch a couple of fish today, man. This looks prime for a couple of fish above this weir. I reckon the water, the river below the weir is a bit more oxygenated, so it might harbour a few more fish, you know what I mean? I mean, I've heard tales of 20 pound bags of roach coming out all the time from down there, like, but this is as, this above the weir is prolific as well, because it is deep, you know what I mean? A lot of those fish tend to hang out around here, or at least that's allegedly anyway. Say the guy next to us said he, he come up here a couple of weeks ago and was having a roach a chuck, you know what I mean? And now today he isn't really catching now. So yeah, let's see if we can persuade a couple of fish today, shall we? Beautiful around here. Absolute beautiful, man. Just wish it wasn't raining, but can't have it all, can we? Middle of winter. That's going down there nice now. So yeah guys, I'm going to fettle with this, get it going in through nicely. And I shall see you soon. I'm going to catch some fish hopefully. Let's keep going. I'm going to go for a quick wander just at Weir that's right here. Just see what happens. No fish as of yet. We're a couple of hours in. That time of year. Look at this then. Oh, this must have been flooded lately. Look at that. Wow. It's bad. Let's have a look. Sounds like it's tearing over here. Someone's had a fire. How cold it's been. <laughs> oh, this looks new. How does this look so new? Risk of falling, risk of drowning. Wow, she's towing through a bit. Look at that bird there. What are you? Wow. There's some trout over there. Look at this then. Yeah man, time for a bit of b-roll I think. Pardon? No, not had a fish man. Bit of a nightmare, I've been sending Bolo down like, but yeah, yeah. now it's happening. You had any yet? Just nippings. Yeah? Yeah, with about five small days roach. Right. Yeah, it's uh, I've even had bread on, little bread punch, you know what yeah. I mean? Can't even get a bite on that. It's, I've even got, I've got blended up loads of bread for today as well, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Trying to get them roach going like, but can I, yeah, cause it's been a bit of a nightmare. This will be the second week in a row I blanked if I don't catch an out to date. <laughs> Not what we want, is it? Uh, that's how it goes, it's fishing. Aye, ah, that's, that's it, isn't it? 
beautiful down here, like I love it down here. It's a shame I haven't been down for, it must have been like three or four years now, you know what I mean, yeah. The fish hunting water. Where? Hutton. Nah, nah, never even heard of it. Is that on Derwent? Yeah, it's on Tabbo. No? It must have been further down. Never heard yeah, of it. It's good fishing down there. Yeah? Matches on Wednesday night. Ah, right. Lots of skimmers down there. Yeah, yeah. Odd green. A bit deeper. Not really, no. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about 18, 19 foot where I am there. Is it? Yeah, it's, I've just it's plumbed up about 14 foot here. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's usually about between 9 and 10 foot. No, oh, that's foot not too bad, is it? Yeah, it's yeah, alright. It's, it's great for uh, the pole and the yeah, stick yeah. floor. Good for stick floor. Sound. Absolute rampart to roach, which I don't mind. I'd sit there and happily catch roach all day, yeah, me, you I'm know what I mean? A, I'm a roach man. I'm not really yeah. interested in carp, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. I had a two pound roach out of there, I did. Did you? Yeah, my first ever one. That was on uh, New Year's Eve, Eve, I think. Beautiful fish. Yeah, that's what you want. Can't believe how it changes from the uh, Yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, yeah, where was that? Just there, where oh, I Oh, right. And what? that fish there is well over a pound. Oh, easy, yeah, look at all size of it. All them are all like four or five ounce rows. Yeah, yeah. That's Decent, what I'm saying man. in there about probably between eight to ten pounds. What are you that, catching them on? Just on pinkies. Yeah. Doing nothing any different to what I'm doing today. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. The only thing is there's no colour in water. Right. That's what's done it, I think. Yeah, yeah. Was it cold? Was it like freezing or out or has it been mild? No, it was a milder day. Yeah. Probably about yeah, similar, probably about nine, ten degrees, but it had that colour in it. Right, uh, yeah. You know, road bridge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it just went dead like that. And about a couple of minutes later, I saw a trailer bubble. <laughs> sort of just oh, up. oh, that'll do it, yeah. It was just sat out on the side of the river just watching. No, uh, oh, I went wow. to Foss Basin a couple of weeks ago and it was like, there must have been a family of them. It was at least four I seen one day. I was only doing a bit of piking, like, you know what I mean? But um, as soon as all otters turned up, you know what I mean? It was just, I couldn't catch a single fish. Nightmare. Uh, I think a lot of places have been have a lot of them in nowadays, you know what I mean? Yeah, Not what you want. Yeah. Need a... Cormans, have you seen Cormans? Nah, I, saw, I, I swear I saw one over there just a minute ago and I'd walked up <laughs> with you. I could see big old wingspan on it and I yeah, thought that'll they, be it. They obviously uh, sleep in them trees over there and every morning you see them coming up. All right. Cormans Was it... I'm sure it was Cormorants and Goosander mm. you're supposed to report to YDA nowadays, yeah. you know what I mean? Because they're getting a bit too much. Nightmare, same as otters, man. I've never seen otters in. I've been fishing near enough all my life, you know what I mean? Yeah, Especially yeah. on rivers and that. And over the last few years, most otters I've ever seen, you know what I mean? Uh, up until about three years ago, I'd never seen an otter until I was fishing at Widdington one day. And it just popped up. I was fishing all day on float, catching fish, and then all of a sudden it went dead. And I say about 20 minutes later, so like a ring of bubbles, you know what I mean? And then it popped its head up and stared at me for a minute and then swam off, and I thought, oh, well, there you go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Simple, isn't it? There's loads of them on Burnley. Yeah, yeah. Not what you want, man. No, it isn't. Hopefully I can catch a couple. I don't want a blank again, you know what I mean? Make my journey worth it if I catch them at that big. <laughs> yeah. That's how we roll. But yeah, man. Good luck anyway, boy. Right, right. nice catch you in a bit. Well, guys, I think it's going to be another fishless day, man. Nightmare, that. We're going to give it about another half an hour. The guy next to us has gone. He struggled as well. He only had a couple of little roach, he said. About so big. He said he came here about um, two or three weeks ago and had about nine or ten pounds. He showed me those fish. Beautiful day. And he said, like, today is completely different, man, which I understand that. Because <laughs> we've not had a single fish. Had a couple of bites, don't know if it was a bottom or not, but we struck in, there's nowt there, you know what I mean? Absolute nightmare. We even went full on deadly roach baiting today with loads of mashed up bread and bread on the hook, you know what I mean? A little bit of bread punch on the hook. We've sending um, hemp seed over the top of that, you know what I mean? That is just prime roach material right there and we just didn't seem one. <laughs> nightmare. 
So yeah, I think we're going to give it about another half an hour. It's getting on now. It's just turned three o'clock. I'm going to don't get dark until about half past four now, which is all right. But yeah, it's getting a bit cold now. Nightmare. See, if this was like middle of summer, I wouldn't mind because it'd be a nice day and I'm in absolute beautiful surroundings in this valley. It's unbelievable, especially in summer. But yeah, it's freezing today, so <laughs> it's not as nice. It's quite deep here. I did expect a few fish, like. But yeah, like that guy said earlier on, that's why they call it fishing. And knee catching. Wind's getting back up as well, which has made it a bit of a nightmare. Is that a fish? Oh, mate, I swear to God that was a bite right there. Have you took me caster? Nah, casters are still there. So yeah, guys, I'm going to have a few more trots down this river. Another half an hour and we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Right then guys, it's been another cold, fishless day. Not what we want, man. Absolute nightmare. But shit, I could not try any harder, honest to God. We've implemented everything that could possibly produce a fish, you know what I mean? And absolutely nothing. So all we can do is keep trying, you know what I mean? But yeah, my next episode is going to be absolutely great, guys. So make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification button, and you'll know when we upload that video. Beautiful stuff. So yeah, I'm going to get packed up now. It's literally getting, it's going to be dark soon, you know what I mean? We tried all day. I'm absolutely freezing. So yeah, absolute nightmare. So yeah, guys, I shall see you in the next episode.